Confidence in the Canadian blood supply system is already shaky as a result of the HIV tainted blood scandal. And that confidence is about to be shaken again. The Red Cross will soon recommend that anyone who had a blood transfusion before 1990 consider having a test for hepatitis C. The information about hepatitis C is a result of the Creever inquiry into blood safety. Tonight, we will examine why and how yet another blood scandal has erupted, even after the Red Cross had come under attack for the HIV crisis. Here's Leslie McKinnon now with a documentary examination of what went wrong. Thousands of Canadians are unknowingly walking around with a disease that can cause fatigue, sickness, and sometimes death. It's called hepatitis C, and it's insidious because it can lie dormant in the body for decades before it strikes. I probably see about almost 10 new cases a week of hepatitis C. It's an old disease that scientists first realized was in the blood supply in the 70s, and many Canadians contracted it from blood transfusions. But nothing was done about it until the 90s. Now for the first time, the Red Cross says anyone who had a blood transfusion before 1990 may be harboring hepatitis C. Anybody who's had a uh, transfusion and is concerned should consult their doctor and, and, and consider getting tested. And now those infected want to know why the lessons about contaminating the blood system in the 80s weren't learned. They should pay for what they've done. They shouldn't be able to get away with this. The parallels between HIV in the blood supply and the potentially fatal liver disease hepatitis C are striking. For instance, scientists knew that hepatitis C was in the blood supply. And like HIV, at first the hepatitis C virus was a mystery. In fact, it was called what it was not, hepatitis non-A, non-B. Like HIV, a pattern emerged. There were the usual claims that the blood supply was safe. There was bureaucratic foot dragging about certain tests and people weren't warned about the dangers of infection. This is another chapter in the story of tainted blood. These people are just beginning to deal with their grief and their anger that they weren't told that for years it was considered an acceptable risk by the Red Cross and healthcare officials that a blood transfusion just might carry hepatitis C. For many, it's reason to despair. This man's son was infected by transfusions he needed for his leukemia. Now, the boy is having nightmares. So, uh, the other night, I was in bed, I just saw him, he passed through the hallway. He, he's lost, and he's scared, he's scared, we don't know what he's scared. This woman worries she may have passed hepatitis C onto her daughter during birth. They told me that I could have, if I'd had the virus for a long time, I could have passed it on to 